Oh, wait to go. No, bro. Every TikTok clip is like, oh, we don't shut up about it. It like. He keeps on complaining. He knew what he was getting into. He made the decision to get on there. And I, that's the only shit that pisses me off. But that's all just random TikTok and dumbasses. But this uh, past week, Andrew Schultz started yapping, saying, oh, when the fuck is Jeff Whittaker going to shut the fuck up about it? You dumb fucking arrogant, egotistical motherfucker. I will knock you out cold in front of all your friends on the couch. Those uh, fucking allegedly. punks. I mean, listen, no, this is, this is actively part of your <laughs> life. You know, this is something that you're having to deal with day in and day out. It's not like it's just going to go away. And if people can't have, like, they can't yeah. realize that, you know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people in this business need to be humbled. And he's one of them. His ego is out of control. Even the shit he did with Steiny, like, bro, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, telling uh, these kids, like, I'm too cool for this podcast. You know, you, you, uh, Flagrant's basically Impulsive 2.0. They're going downhill. They lost. <laughs> you just you're giving me clips. <laughs> no, no. Listen, listen. Let's just reel it back because we're gonna jump into this Andrew conversation because Andrew. I want to fight him and power slap in the sphere. Listen, listen. He, in Vegas, if he said something That'd be a like that, event. wow. I, I think. Are you sure he's not using comedy, bro? Because he uses no, it comedy. Was, bro, it was not funny. When's the last time you remember Andrew Schultz saying something funny? Think quick. Andrew Schultz is funny. Bro. Say something that's funny that he you remember. Uh, I can remember Bill Burr jokes. I can remember Louis C.K. jokes right off the top. Dave Chappelle. Tell me a joke. I that think Andrew, it's harder for him because he's more in the moment. And like okay, he can, now you're making excuses for no, him. No, you're making me nervous. No, now. Like, no. now I'm going to get a call Listen, from him. He should, be, he, should be, he, should be, he should step back and be a writer or something, somebody behind the scenes, because I don't think he just has the charisma. Or, oh, you're like angry, angry with him. The only thing that pisses me off is those dumbass comments, and to see it from a peer, somebody I thought was my friend, uh, like actually yapping and saying real disrespectful fighting words, then, you know, I haven't had that. I haven't had a beef online. Yeah. So to have him do that and hide it behind a, a paywall on Patreon. Yeah. And then of course my like, uh, Community. supporters, yeah. they'll, they'll find it and send it to me. So I was pissed when I saw it, you know, there's not many Cause you things. feel like he's being, he, he got on his high horse. He, he's doing really well. And now he's starting to punch down on Nelk and you and yeah. And you're just, you're over that. You're saying be more graceful being on top. Where you're yeah, at. he's like, when is it going to end? When the fuck is it going to Like, say something funny, bro. You're a comedian, <laughs> you know? Well, Talk, tell punch, jokes. If he's punching down a lot on people, then, I mean, it's coming from an insecurity. Have you talked to him about it? Uh, just threats. Okay. <laughs> I get no it, I response. Get it. I get it. I was like, I, let, I, I was like do you want to do an influencer boxing match? Or do you want to just do it on the street? Should I just beat you up on the street? Or could I do it, like... You know, if you're walking out of a restaurant or something on a date, a, a with, you know, here's the thing. that'd be Co fun, embarrass him in front of his, you know, loved ones. Yeah. Okay, no question response. for you, question for you. And this is, I'm actually going to see a parallel look at you. Before you were humbled, mm -hmm. truly, mm -hmm. do you feel like maybe you would walk in the same line as he would? Because when you find success quick... Sometimes you make little mistakes. I would never make fun of somebody with a, a disability or something that happened to them. And they do that a lot. They had Shane Gillis on. They started making fun of autistic people. You know, that's punching down. You, you, you shouldn't have to do that when you're at that level. You yeah. know, I'm not saying that I'm a, dis, I'm a fucking disabled, you know, uh, retard. But I kind of, I, I am but a little stupid. That. No, I was kidding. Yeah, I, 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 am, I am a little stupider, and I am dealing with some shit. So, motherfucker, you want to come at me? He poked something that you he shouldn't have poked me, at. and now I want to hurt you. That's how it <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> I expect an apology. I expect an apology. I, I will say this, bro. Like, I think with the internet, what happens is sometimes things could get, you know, it could go to a level that it shouldn't. I would uh, love to see you guys sit down and talk about it. I would, I would I think, love to see him at, like, a UFC event and just slap the shit out of him. Fair. Would you have him on your podcast to try and like talk things through? Maybe you can also mess with him a little bit on your podcast. I feel like it wouldn't know. get a lot of views. He's kind of fallen off. You know, I'd rather just have George on every week because he's crushing it, my man. Thank you, my man. Yeah. I appreciate it.